What is up guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Spintar's Mudrunner and today we're going to be looking at a map called Oxford County Trails version 2. Now you guys really enjoyed the original Oxford County Trails on my channel and so I figured when this map was updated I would be sure to go over it for you guys and show you guys around and see if we can see what's new. Now we brought a great variety of vehicles here, we've got everything from a, a Duramax Dually to a F-350 to a Tacoma to a single-seat rock bouncer. I mean, there's so much variety here that it actually, like, I was like, oh, we've got a pretty good lineup going. Now, I'm going to put a couple things on this truck, really nothing too crazy. I may put the gooseneck on it, and eh, let's see. I mean, trying to see what else there was. I think I'm probably going to just put the gooseneck on it, and then I may drive the bouncer up onto the gooseneck, and let's see... I don't know if that gooseneck has actual, like, extendable ramps or not, but you know what? We may not need them. Uh, never mind. We will. Because some of the trailer physics, man, some of the trailer physics get really, really wonky when you try to mess around with them. It's, like, so high off the ground, too. It doesn't make any sense. But, like, I love that truck and I want to use it. I just don't like the way they set the trailer up. I really don't. All right, let's see if you'll climb up. Okay, yes, you will. Ah, it goes off the side. And this, this is where, uh-oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, the collision axles are freaking out. Because there's mud and, holy crap, this might not be the best idea. This might not be the best idea. I wonder if the Tacoma will go on that trailer. I doubt it. I, I highly doubt it's got the clearance for that, but, I mean, we can, we can try. Yeah, no, there's no way. The bumper just hits. It's like... <sighs> I don't know why they set up that trailer that way. I genuinely don't. It seems like... And look, you go into advanced mode. There's nothing you can do. There, there's literally nothing you can change. So it really makes absolutely no sense to me why they set that trailer up that way. But regardless, it's not my... You know, it's not my mod. So I can't necessarily like... You know... I can't necessarily knock the way they set it up, but at the same time, I can say that I don't understand why they did it that way. Because there, it doesn't seem like there's any actual reason why you would do it that way. But let's go ahead and fuel this thing up, and we're going to set off on actually exploring. So, oh, I didn't know you could actually put fuel in the bed. That's different. But here is one of the entrances to the trails, and they're... This interior is weird. It's kind of like, it works, but it's very blank. Um, so... This, like, right off the bat reminds me of Oxford County Trails. First of all, biggest thing I notice is that there's, like, more, there's just more, more wildlife. Like, not necessarily wildlife as in animals, but, like, you know, more grass, more shrubs, more trees, more, you know, more plants, more everything um, than there was at the first go-around. And it seems like a lot more of, like, a dense woods as opposed to, you know, as opposed to a woods that was kind of there, but not, like super built up like they really they they definitely put a lot more stuff here now like there's there's more it just feels like they filled the map out um a lot more now i did some exploring prior to this video and ooh, that looks like a fun hill that also looks like a fun mud hole i wonder which one is gonna be <laughs> i wonder which one this thing's gonna like more did the mud hole in high pretty well but yeah i think they've also it also seems like they've added a few more rocks. Wow, that was very glitchy. I wonder if these rocks will glitch out. Like, I wonder how long it'll take before we glitch into a rock. Like, we already glitched through one just then. This truck is not built for this. I mean, we know that. But, man, I mean, it's still... It's still going right through doing its thing. Ooh, this will be interesting. A little bit of mud. See, this thing handles mud no problem. I mean, Banks' trucks usually do very well in the mud and very well in the rocks. He, he has a really good way of balancing out his setups and the way he tunes his trucks, the way he programs them. So I really like, I really like that. I really like the fact that he kind of like actually puts time and, and effort into making sure his trucks work well everywhere. Even though they may not be the best at one specific thing, they work well across the board. They're like really good you know, six or seven tenths at everything. They're not like a ten tenths at one thing truck, but like a lot of trucks that are ten tenths on one thing are like three tenths or less on everything else. So it's good 
that these trucks are well-rounded because they're really good, like, multi-purpose trucks. It makes them really good for that. So, oh, God. Oh, we almost, we almost lost that wheel in the ground. Like, that wheel almost was like, see ya. Peace out. I'm, I'm going digging. But yeah, this map, I would say it's a really good, I, like, I, I liked the first one. I liked the first one a lot because it was very much a trail riding map. And it didn't really, it didn't really, like, try to pretend it was anything else. It didn't lie about it. It was just like, yeah, this is a trail riding map. Like, just for, you know, getting on multiplayer, trail riding with your friends, that's what this map is for. And genuinely, that is what this map is for. I mean, it, it, it's, it, that, that's what it's, that's what it's all about. It's just, like, going down the trails, having a good time. And, you know, running into some rocks every once in a while, not doing anything too crazy, but, oh, and apparently rock glitching. There's that rock glitch that we hadn't had yet. But let's grab the Tacoma now and head down this trail because the Tacoma, I mean, we know the Tacoma is going to do just fine. This, this little guy, this little guy will go anywhere. And we, we saw that on one of the other maps that we tested. Like, this little guy will go anywhere, through anything, and, and it'll just, like, and it'll laugh about it later. It's, it's very much the unkillable Toyota. It's the, it's, it's kind of the epitome of the little unkillable Toyota in, the, in Mudrunner right now. Ooh, a little bridge. I don't remember if this was here before. This looks good. Yeah, this looks really good. We've got another trail that goes underneath it, too, like a mud trail. I actually kind of want to check that out. Ooh, we got a blue UAZ over there as well. The traction on that bridge is weird. It's very strange. Let's go around this edge. See, this thing will take any route. It's just like, I love that about this little Tacoma. It'll go any way you point it. All right, let's see what happens if we go down this little mud route and maybe possibly throw it in high. Oh. Oh, if you feather it. If you feather it in high. Yeah, if you feather it in high, it'll get through there quicker than it will in low. There we go. That's that little blue UAZ unlocked. If you know how to feather the throttle, you can leave this thing in high and go pretty much anywhere, even if you do hit mud. I don't know what's out here. I don't remember this section. I'm trying to avoid the... Oh, God. What the... What the heck? Oh, it's like... was running into my axle. Oh, God. A lot of trailblazing going on. Oh, I remember this, though. Feather in the throttle. Come on. It's like you kind of have to go between half and full throttle and high. And it will go through the mud. It just, you have to actually be a little bit more controlled about it rather than, like, flooring it everywhere and not, you know, kind of really not giving a crap about where you end up. You do have to actually pay attention to how you're driving. I like this map, though. I feel like it's one of those maps that if you, like... What was I? I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. I mean, because there's a lot of trail riding maps out there. And I feel like for a lot of people, it kind of gets to the point where you're like, oh my god, well, how do I, you know, determine between all of these? Like, there's too many. And it kind of comes down to, like, when you're not focusing on... When you're not ranking maps based solely on how difficult they are, you have to rank them on something else. And, oh, damn. And for trail riding maps, that ends up being quality. And this map is very high quality. Like it's it's got good trail design. It's got a lot of like it's got a lot of variety. It's got the it's got mud. It's got rocks. It's got scenery ish. It's not like anything super scenic or anything like that. But it still has good scenery and still manages its scenery fairly well. Now let's see if we can leave it in high without rock glitching up this hill. We had, we didn't rock glitch, but we also didn't uh, we also didn't manage to get the bumper up over that rock. That's the thing, though, is, like, this thing is not really... It's a trail riding rig, but it's not a rock crawling rig. Not by any means. Like, we're, we're on the rockers, we're on the frame, we're on the bumpers, we're on pretty much everything. Come on, put that low, low range to use. Yeah, it's just gonna sit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, there we go, there we go. If you angle it right, I mean, you can get this thing to go where you want it. If you angle it right, you just have to angle it right. And I think that the fact that, that you know, we did have to figure out a slightly alternate route there. We did have to figure out, and this is a more realistic vehicle. So, if you want trails that feel very, very realistic, you know, as something that you would take your actual vehicle to, um, like, and something that would be challenging for streetable vehicles, but would still also be doable for them... This is the place. Like, genuinely, this is the place. And I, I will say that again because 
you know, I'll say it, I'll say it again, and I'll stand by it, because I like this map a lot, for the realism. I mean, if you're going for realism, you, you can't do a lot better than what you have right here. Like, this map is... It's a very realistic map, and if you run it with realistic vehicles, you realize how realistically the map was designed, and, and then you're like, okay, this is good. This is really, really good. And seeing that it's been remastered here in, in like a version 2 makes it even better because they, they, they took that original map and they improved upon it and made it better. And I think there's there's... Like, that's one of the absolute best things is when you take a map that's already good and you try to make it just a little bit better without overdoing it. Man, that, that's, I mean, it's a really good thing. So now that we've driven around in the realistic vehicles, let's grab this crazy single-seat rock bouncer and go freaking nuts. It doesn't like mud, though, so let's not go that way. <laughs> let's avoid that route since it doesn't like mud. Holy crap! <laughs> Biggest thing you have to be careful of with this thing is flipping it over because if you're not around a set of trees or a tight grouping of trees, it's not going to flip back over. There we go! I mean, hey, if you want the grand tour of a map real freaking quick, run one of these. I don't know which way to go. I'd go right. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not sure which way we're going. Actually, you know what? Let's give that hill a shot. We were going to do it in the Duramax earlier, and we didn't do it. All right, up to high, and then back to automatic mode. It does tend to throw the back end out when it changes gear, so you have to be prepared for that. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Really? Really? Oh, the map's going to eat it now, isn't it? Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. See, this happens sometimes. The map will just... We'll just eat rigs. Oh, sometimes, though, if you just floor it, it'll drive out. That's very rare for that to happen. More often than not, it'll just, like, drag the vehicle, like, into the dirt. But no, that, that was actually a very rare occurrence for it to kind of, like, you know, spit the vehicle back out like that. That's very rare. Oh, boy. Oh, God. Whoo! Oh, wow. That, that wanted to rock glitch. That wanted to rock glitch really bad. Really, really bad. Jeez, I love the power behind this thing, though. Like, oh, that man, there it goes. <laughs> I, I love it. It's just like, it's such a maniac. But you've seen a fairly good portion of the map. The rest of this area over here is pretty similar, um, to be honest. Like, but it's, it's a very good, realistic, like, that's what you need to know about this map. Is that it's a really good, really realistic map that I think everybody should give a shot. Like, it, it, this map deserves to be in everybody's library, no question. And I think for realistic trail riding, it's definitely up there. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see y'all next time. Talk to you guys later.